What up, watch peeps? So I found some really fun replacement crystals for G-Shock 5600 for squares on AliExpress, and I thought that would be a cool mod because, you know, I change everything. But what I couldn't find was any really good videos on YouTube about how to swap those crystals. There's a couple, but they're not great, and albeit mine probably isn't either. So I reached out to my G-Shock expert friend, at Luke Albert on Instagram. If you don't know him, Check him out, check out his page. He's one of the good guys. He gave me a few tips, a few pointers. So I decided to make my own video on how to do this crystal swap. So let's get to it. I'm Pete and we are chilling with watches. I'm going to attempt to show you guys how to replace the crystal in a G-Shock, specifically a 5600 or a square here. I looked for videos when I went to do this for the first time, couldn't find any good ones, so I'm going to make one. First thing we're going to do is just get off this back cover. The back cover is just four screws, easy peasy. Once that's off, we can also remove this rubber protector there. And then what we're going to do is remove this module from the inner case. Removing the module is quite simple. All you gotta do is kinda get yourself, a, I'm using a peg wood in this case, and you can start to pry it up from around the outsides. Kinda hard to do on camera, but in person, it's much easier. You can see it's starting to lift out there. That's all I'm doing. All right, let's see if I go for this side. There you go, and you can see that kind of popped out there. So now the module is loose from the case. I always take the movements out by just putting a pad on the back, flip it over, and you can see you can take that off. Now our module is out. So just set that module aside, put it down somewhere, put a cover over it so it doesn't get any dust in it while you have it setting aside. Next thing I gotta do is remove the outer rubber cover here, just four screws. Again, I probably should have done that first, but it really doesn't matter, so I'm gonna take that off now. And with those four screws removed, all you gotta do is kinda of peel off the rubber. The hardest part is getting it over top of the buttons. You can take the outer casing off. As you can see, I'm not too worried about getting any dust in here right now because, well, I'm taking that glass out anyway, so who cares if I smudge it up or get dust on it. So now all we have to do is press this crystal out from the inside here. So this particular mold for me happens to snap onto these cases really nice, leaving a gap in there where the crystal can fall into when it is pressed out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the bottom rung of there. And I could take that back out. The only other thing we need is another die small enough to fit inside that metal frame and hit just the glass, which is probably this blue one right here, pretty close coverage. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the other end of the presser. Okay, with everything centered, so this presses down on the, on the middle of the crystal and I have this centered this way as well. Now I'm just gonna press down on that crystal until it pops out, just like doing any kind of mechanical watch. And there it goes, popped out. Let me show you what we got left over. So now you have your, zoom back out. Now you have your metal case, sans glass, and you'll see there is a little bit of glue, if I can show you residue on that metal frame. We're gonna leave that in place, and hopefully it's gonna help hold in the new crystal as well. The other crystal, came out here pretty clean and if you can see the um you're trying you want to make sure there's a gasket around the outside of this that you want to take care not to damage as you're pressing out because we need to reuse that so i am slowly working it off of the edge of this crystal let's see from the back side you can see it's coming out there so we're going to take this gasket and I am going to fit it back into here first. You see the crystal actually presses into this carbon core 
as opposed to that metal underneath. The gasket just kind of fits nicely in there. So I'm gonna grab our other crystal, get that set on top of here and set up to press it and we'll take a look at how that goes. All right, so here is the new crystal we're gonna use. This is the carbon core case with the gasket in there. We're just gonna kinda set this in there on top, making sure it is inside the gasket all the way around, very like we would do with any mechanical or Seiko mod. And uh, I'm gonna check that under magnification to make sure it's good before I press it in here. I use a, any, I'm not gonna use that. So I'm gonna press it back in using this style. I just like this one for pressing a lot better. I think it's a little more even. And in any base that is large enough for this to sit on flat without any kind of wobble. And any, you want a top piece that covers as much of the crystal as possible without going over any of the edges. That sure is your most equal force all the way around so you get a nice even seat. So I'm gonna get this set up and I'm gonna try and show you how to do it on camera. All right, everything is in there and centered as best I can. I'm gonna shine, try and show you how twisting and pressing, you should be able to see that crystal seeding into the carbon core. It's actually quite easy. It's not really that hard to do. I couldn't quite get it in by hand, but I've done one before where I almost pressed it all the way in by hand. So I think you can see there, nice and flush. So we're gonna take it out and take a look. All right, that went really well. It is all nice, even, really flush with the top of the case. And you can see that gasket around the perimeter there, even the whole way around, no crimping or anything like that. So I think we did a real good job. It's, it's really actually quite easy process. So press it out, press it in. Let's get this thing put back together and see what this watch looks like. This step's easy enough. We just kind of set our case back over top of our module flip it over and we're just going to have to get that fully seated in there all the way before we can put the case back cover on. The only things you got to watch out for when reseating this movement is these little tiny levers in there. You got to make sure they get on the bottom sides of the pushers. Sometimes they get stuck on the pushers. The other thing you want to watch out for is do not lose the spring. That's what causes the beeps. Next step is to simply replace this back cover should fit over that spring centered in that hole and that tab should be able to come through that slot there as well then all we got to do put our back case back on with the four screws anytime i open a watch up i will re-grease the case back gasket i don't know if you absolutely have to but it seems like good practice so i did it here all right, so with the case back screwed back on, gasket sealed, everything, it's looking really good so far. This is gonna be super cool. Uh, next step is to put on the outer cover and I have this kind of jelly with some green and or red enamel that I painted into the text there. So we're just gonna pop that guy on. The only thing you gotta do to really set this on is put those four screws back in there. All right, outer cover screws back on, put the strap on, and there we go. That is a pretty sweet Dragon Ball Z mod. Check that out. It's a pretty cool crystal. Now, the guy I bought this crystal from on AliEx said these crystals are sapphire, so that would be a bonus upgrade, but I'm not convinced, and I don't have one of those sapphire testers, but I'd love to check that out to know for sure, but it's a pretty cool, fun watch. Of course, we need an obligatory wrist shot so you can see how it wears. That is pretty cool. I'm going to have a lot of fun with <laughs> this watch. I kind of like that color combo. Even that yellow screen really just puts it over the top. The other mod I did, I didn't record swapping the crystal on this, was this one, which is the, which is the Pokemon mod. This one is super cool, too. Love that crystal with the yellow border all in this yellow case. That just looks wild. So between the two of these, I think that's kind of fun. I'll have a good time wearing these.